ஹலோ வியூவர்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் ஸ்கை இஸ் த லிமிட் அண்ட் அண்டர் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் எனி திங் அண்டர் தி ஸ்கை டுடே வி வில் ஷோ டெமான்ஸ்ட்ரேட் தி வெண் பொங்கல் விச் இஸ் த பிரசாதம் தட் இஸ் மேட் எவ்ரி டே டியூரிங் தனூர் மாதம் அண்ட் சின்ஸ் தனூர் மாதம் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் பிஹைண்ட் ஜஸ்ட் பியாண்ட் தி கார்னர் வி வில் டூ தி வெண் பொங்கல் demonstration today when pongal video i am very proud to boast that whenever i host a party people demand my when pongal so let us see what is so interesting about it if you make it at home and you will eat you will know the difference so we will start with the ingredients we take one measure of green gram split green gram okay and an equal amount of rice equal amount of rice generally people add half portion of green gram green split gram but i always add one equal amount of rice and then to this rice i will add that was a big measure so i will add three measures of or rather four measures of water because pongal has to be mashy if it is too hard it will become tight within no minutes and then it will be hard to eat this pongal then you have to switch on this stove to high and allow it to cool i am not making this in the cooker because it is supposed to be a bhog or prasad that is always offered on all the 30 days of dhanur masam so this is going to be done directly in the at home we we have what is called valgalam or vangalam vangala pane which is used for cooking rice but here it is not available at this moment <laughs> so i am cooking it in this vessel you have to cook it until it is properly done you can keep adding water in case the rice and uh, dal can sometimes i mean gram can sometimes uh, add uh, ask for more water and sometimes less water i will tell you the consistency till which you can add the water in case you need to add any more water right now we have added four portions of water one portion of green split gram and one portion of rice let us allow it to cook the other ingredients that go into the pongal are curry leaves ginger i always cut the ginger as big the piece so much the fiber otherwise when we grate the ginger the fiber content decreases then asafoetida powder as per your taste you can also add compounded asafoetida if you like and then we have 1 teaspoon of black peppercorn 1 teaspoon of black peppercorn okay then we have an equal amount or 1 teaspoon full of cumin seed or jeera then we have cashew nuts for enhancing the taste and also the look actual items that really help in digesting it is supposed to be a penance that the gopikas did for krishna and they had supposed to eat the prasad only and the prasad had to be light not very heavy so <laughs> this pongal used to be consumed in the form of prasad after that they never used to have anything in the whole of the day so we are restricting our items to only these things which are really very good for fasting and even when you have fever and all this is the best food you can think of sans ghee 
in this we are adding ghee because we are offering it to god and it is normally added and made ghee but sometimes when we want for fever and we want for people who are in a vulnerable state like they are recovering from some surgery or anything this is the best food you can give them and uh, sans ghee now this um, cumin seed and black pepper corn can be taken or added to the pongal in three different ways okay one is just put them directly into the rice when it is cooking i mean in the rice and gram combination when it is cooking or you can grind them and add it to the i mean coarse grind don't grind it too soft then it will not be good so coarse grind them and add it to the food when it is cooking or you can coarse grind them and then add it to the seasoning when we put it in the end of the cooked rice on the cooked rice this is how it is i mean it is taken in three four forms even sometimes you can just add it and then put the seasoning on it so that it cooks so the it can be taken even raw it can be taken along with the i mean it can also be cooked roasted in the i mean um, shallow fried in the ghee so that when it is for the person who is recovering from illness or uh, for a person who is having fever it is always advised to roast it grind it and put it directly for cooking don't add ghee into it okay now we will see how this pongal is done as soon as the rice cooks as i told you earlier i was cooking the food on the direct flame and the water got le less because it evaporated in the process of cooking i had to add two glasses of extra water to get the pongal to this consistency this consistency or a little more also water can be added because pongal tries to dry as soon as it starts cooling so it is better to have the pongal at this consistency i always have a pongal at this consistency when i am making and finally you know people are interested in the way it turns out and they demand for my pongal now what did i miss out along with the ingredients i forgot to add salt salt you have to add as per the taste now i am opening a new salt box today so i don't know how the salt will taste whether it is too strong or it is too light i can only gauge to some amount i will keep a restricted amount so that if it falls short or less i can always add it at the end without salt no food tastes good add more salt you will land a fine high bp so salt has to be added okay as i told you you can directly put the pepper and jeera directly when the food is cooking i didn't put it directly today so i am adding it to the you can put it while it is cooking there is no issue so i am adding it to the ghee that i am boiling you can close the stove because the electric heater always retains some heat sometimes we can take it this way or we can also add powdered coarsely powdered jeera and pepper or kali mirch and cumin seed directly no issue but if you want to add it to the this after this is done you should add the cashew nuts and the can go together and also the cashew nut tends to become red 
very fast so you can add the curry leaves also together so in case you haven't added the black pepper directly or whether it is powdered and added directly you can always add the powdered black pepper and cumin seeds at the end of the seasoning all will taste very good <laughs> after this portion is over we add the salt i have taken assuming this salt will be okay but i will add half of it just in case it is too strong sometimes the stock salt is too strong and sometimes it is too light i have opened the new salt container today so i am adding a little with caution and then in case the salt does not is not enough then i can always add some more salt so this is the ven pongal that is always used as prasadam for ven pongal that is always used as prasadam for the dhanurmasa aaradhane or dhanurmasa and uh, i use this small coffee grinder i use this small coffee grinder by hamilton beach for grinding the pepper and cumin seed so i think all your taste buds are now tingling you have to immediately go and start this experiment finish your friend pongal and both of us in eat together so i am waiting for you to join me please come and join me